You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today we have a special guest here at Brockton Community Access for Greater Brockton, Anthony Goss. Hey, thank you. Nice to meet you, Anthony. Pleasure to meet you. Any thank friend you. of Nubi is a friend of mine. Really? How's that? <laughs> Nubi has friends in high places, I see. I'm, I'm happy to be here. He does. He does. And, Man. And, and you've done some good stuff, some good work in high places. So um, you and Nubi met at Bridgewater State. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. um, which is a great school. Mm -hmm. I happen to live around the corner now. I just moved to Bridgewater. Okay. Um, I teach. I'm over at Massasoit. I did TV and uh -huh. media, but now I'm doing speech. Okay. Because people have to talk to each other in this day and age. It's not all about social media. They still just do that. Yeah, it's hard. Eight o'clock in the morning, <laughs> they're all on their phones, and I'm like, welcome mm -hmm. to class. And everybody looks up, and they have an earbud mm -hmm. or whatever. But mm -hmm. uh, look at, you're into acting. That's phenomenal. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and he, Nubi's going to bring you to this workshop mm -hmm. on... February 8th, February 8th, which I have to remind everybody that you're going to register for. You can't just walk in. Right. Okay. He needs to get a count and so they can feed everybody. <laughs> so you're going to, what are you going to talk about? Your um, career, your, you know, how to get started, how to get motivated. We were just talking a little bit off camera. Yeah. We were just talking about that. Um, just a little bit of everything. Just really just honest um, conversation with whoever's there. I feel honored first off to be on the panel with Newbie. Uh, February 8th, please register. Um, just talk about my career path, my journey, what got me into it, um, how did I start, right? what happened after college, and how I just fell in, got into acting. I don't want to give it all away now because mm -hmm. they have to come and see you. Right. But give us a little sneak peek. Did you get involved Some. when you were in, in high school in mm. Boston? No. I took one class in high school, kind of like an elective, mm -hmm. Shakespeare. Comedy of Errors, the first play I read. Then in one class at Bridgewater Improv. But I always played sports, so I never got into acting. Okay. And then after I graduated, I worked on a, thing, a project with Newbie called Step Up, a documentary. Mm -hmm. um, he did that. We went to Pasadena Action on Film Festival, got a little taste of it, uh, came here back to Boston, Company One Theater in Boston, took a class. About six months later, I moved to New York just on a whim. Um, I felt it was a passion that I always kept underneath. And then uh, I was in New York grinding for the last four and a half years. Wow. Well, New York is... Uh one of the biggest places on the planet, if you really think about it. All sorts yeah. of people, all sorts of cultures, all sorts of. I, if, if I were I in New it. York, I'd think I'd weigh 400 pounds because I love eat it. all the food. It's just beautiful. Over there. But you walk a lot, though. Yeah. There's a lot of train, a lot of walking. So people there, they're walking miles and miles without even knowing it. So you burn it. That's good. It's a good place. That's good. So you've done some work on Law and Order SVU. Yeah, I've, yeah that was great. Um, Law and Order, um, they kind of say it's like the uh, launching ground in New York. I mm -hmm. say that because a lot of friends say, once you get a lot of know that it's pretty good. I'm just honored um, because I understand the journey. Um, Tell me about the blacklist. What's that? I, I'm, I'm not mm -hmm. totally up to date on um, It's stuff. a show on NBC. So okay. it's just uh, another uh, one of those TV shows. Um, just on NBC? Yeah, it's Nothing pretty fans. good. Co-star roles with the, like the uh, Law and Order. Um, you got a good voice. Thank you. You can do a lot with that voice. I and hope so. A, you know, with the acting, uh -huh. or even behind the scenes, think about it. All the voiceovers you could do, all that stuff. Voice is, voice is everything. I went, when I went to school, mm -hmm. I was from Massachusetts. I went to Miami. So okay. I had to take voice and diction all over again because I had that Massachusetts accent, which has come mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. First thing I heard when I came back, my name is Mark with mm -hmm. an R. Not with my mother, it was Mark. Mark. Okay, but two years, mm -hmm. they wanted you to speak Midwestern. Right. You, they didn't want you to have an accent. And of course, I was in Miami mm -hmm. and I couldn't get a job down there because I didn't speak Spanish. You got to get it. My brother's trilingual. Gotta. He speaks Spanish and Haitian Creole. So if you know another language, you're even more marketable. You're even more marketable. Because Spanish media, oh my God, it's, it's big. It's big. Boom. It's all over the place. <laughs> the, the telenovelas and, the, yeah, yeah. and the, you know, the different aspects of it. There's all the different networks. NBC has all those networks now. So you yes. can do just about anything. So what do you hope to tell mm -hmm. the youth? And you know, he, he, Newbie says this is geared to college students, but I think high school students can right. go, or people, that maybe they dip their toe in it, now mm -hmm. the toe isn't out, and they're doing something else, but they really have a passion for it. What, mm -hmm. what, what do you, what do you want to get the message out? So, um, it's an important part of the, the, the discussion, I believe. Um, part of what I'm doing and what Newbie always strives is just to give back. Um, that's big for him, and this media workshop is a, is a perfect example of that. And to be on it, I'm just going to talk um, about my journey and just show them that they can do it, and just kind of talk about the things that I'm doing to give back in my own in my own right. 
um, just kind of bridge the gap for other actors coming up in Boston, Brockton, Randolph, create a uh, platform and a nonprofit that I'm doing to help these kids get um, opportunities as well. So these are a lot of things that we're working on and this is a perfect um, platform with working with this workshop with Newbie and Newbie Productions to really kind of just promote that and put that out there. I heard the word nonprofit, so you're working on developing? I'm working on developing something, yeah. And I've been inspired by just seeing what everybody's doing and inspired by Newbie's career and like what he does with the youth and what he's always been doing. And now that I'm at this place in my career, I feel like it's a perfect time for me to kind of reach and give back as I'm growing and still learning myself. Mm -hmm. But I also want to make it easier and create opportunities and kind of make myself available and share my journey as best as I can. Everyone needs mentors. I think it's really important. I, mm -hmm. I, I had some throughout. I, I, I like history. So I had five history teachers from middle school all the way through high school. Right. I thought I wanted to be a teacher. I thought I wanted to be a lawyer. Mm. I dabbled <laughs> a little bit in local government and stuff like that. But you were telling me you got to be able to also mm. take the word no. You have to do a little bit of rejection to be a success, right? That's, that's, that's a tough thing. That's everything. You can go on auditions all you want. You're going to hear a lot of no's. And it might not be because of you. You're not talented. And some people get discouraged. Like a lot of young people may get discouraged because they're not getting likes, so they're not getting video. People are not saying, I'm not good. Well, we get no's all the time. And what it does is humbles you. Um, mm -hmm. It's not about you. And it's just about the fit sometimes. And um, you got to hear a couple of no's to get a yes, but it doesn't mean that you're not, it's not for you. Um, so I want to give that confidence to, to those youth. I always tell my students you learn more from the failures than you learn from the successes. If you make a mistake, sometimes in TV and media mm -hmm. and stuff, you're, you're making a mistake. You probably won't necessarily make it again. Exactly. Okay? You'll learn from that right. mistake and you'll, you'll be a better person. Mm -hmm. Rejection's tough. Okay? I, I couldn't be a yeah. salesperson for that reason. Mm. But, um, you know, I, I always consider, like, if my students don't do well, then mm -hmm. I'm not. A success. I'm not helping them or That's pushing what them says. to, That's to what go for says too. Well, I've never been so proud of anybody than, yeah, than Newby being thing. a teacher. Okay, because yeah. he and he's humble. You got to mm -hmm. be humble too. You can get you know probably know a lot of actors and actresses that are little. Mm. Your head's a little too big. <laughs> I have a feeling yours isn't going to be too big. I mm -mm. think you're. I can tell that you're humble, and I'm looking forward to hearing about your nonprofit. Are you going to be doing it in New York or in here? No, or we're both? taking it home. We're doing it in, in Boston, this area. Okay. So we, we here. We'll be here. Good. Um, you, we're going to have you back, and we're going to talk about that at some point, and you know, help you promote it. And yes. Get the definitely. word out and everything, because. Uh, you know, I've always wanted to, I work for a nonprofit, mm -hmm. but I've always wanted to create one. So maybe mm -hmm. you'll inspire me to do yeah. that. Okay. I hope. So we got one minute left, final 30 okay. seconds for you, and then I'll wrap it up. Just talk directly to the audience and tell them, um, sell it. Sell it. I'm just selling uh, the production, uh, Newbie Productions. We got the media workshop February 8th. Um, um, if you haven't registered, please do so. It is a great opportunity to come by and hear some people on the panel, including myself. Uh, we're going to be there just rocking it out and just supporting the, the cause and showing love. So come through. It's going to be a great time, great event. Make sure you register. Um, watch social media. I'm going to be promoting a lot coming up, and I would love to see you there, and I would love to just talk with you. Let's do it. I'll tell you the same thing I told Newbie. When you're on the red carpet or something, I just want two tickets and a swag bag. That's all. That's it. We got okay. it. It's done. Thanks, Thank Anthony. You. I Pleasure. can't wait to, for the workshop now. All right. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.